in health news this morning. You may be anxious and uncertain about how to get medical care during this time, but getting the care when you need it, that's considered essential. And Dr. Ashley Barcroft, she's an internal medicine and pediatric physician with Spectrum Health Medical Group, is going to join us right there this morning and tell us why you should connect with your primary care provider. Good morning. Good morning. So maintaining your health is important now as it always is. Um, at Spectrum Health, we're here to continue providing screening, testing, and care for COVID-19, but we're also ready to see you for your non-COVID-19 related issues. Um, delaying your care can lead to unnecessary pain and suffering. So what should someone do if they have a medical concern? Obviously, you're, you're telling people don't put your health on hold just because this coronavirus, this COVID-19 pandemic right. is out there. So what, what does that look like? So if you have a medium to low severity concern, please reach out and call your primary care doctor if you have one. Of course, if you have an emergency, you should always call 911 or go to your nearest emergency department. We are able to see you virtually or in person for your healthcare needs, so don't hesitate to reach out. Well, you did say that in person is one thing and then virtual is the other. Many of us have kind of had to become more familiar with technology that connects us with others like Zoom, like this interview. But for those who may not know, what does a virtual visit look like? So a virtual visit is similar to using Skype or Zoom to talk to your family members or friends. You can use a smartphone, tablet, or computer to connect on the My Health app and you'll be able to conduct a safe and secure visit with your physician. It'll be the similar level of care to what you would see in person. Some of the things that we're able to see on a virtual visit include anxiety, depression, rashes, and lots of chronic disease follow-ups, especially if you have a blood pressure cuff available at home. You know, a lot of us probably have had this thought about our health care where we think we need to see the doctor but we're worried about going in. And there are times when you have to see a patient in person. What does that look like and how has that changed? Yeah, so there are always those conditions that are better assessed face-to-face -face with your doctor. Some of those things are abdominal pain, difficulty breathing, and anything that really requires a good physical exam. Our um, number one priority has always been patient safety and we're continuing with that. So there are some things that are taking place before, during, and after your visit to make sure that everything goes smoothly. Prior to work every day, all employees are screened. All visitors and patients are also screened for any symptoms of illness. There's additional cleanings going on, even including through the day. There's cleaning of frequently touched surfaces. There's signage in the waiting areas to encourage social distancing. And we're also keeping people out of the waiting rooms as much as possible by bringing them back into the exam rooms right away. So you're obviously doing everything you can at Spectrum Health to make sure that safety is involved. So again, as you heard Ashley say, don't put your health on hold. If you have something where you need to see a doctor, there are virtual visits, in-person visits, obviously quite safe. Where can we go? Is there a website to, to learn more and maybe see some of this in action? Yes, definitely go to the Spectrum Health website. You'll find a lot of information about COVID-19, but you'll also find information about scheduling with your doctor. And you can even see a virtual tour of our sites to see how we've helped make this safe. Thank you so much for the time. Thanks for joining us, Ashley.